Hey spooky loves, welcome back to another video here on Pumpkin and Gray, or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, I'm so excited for this video. I wait for this every single year. I am filming the first Target Halloween haul for 2024. Now this is a part one. I am probably gonna split this into a part two and possibly a part three. The other day, just a few days ago, Target was so fast with their shipping. They announced that Hide and Eek was going to hit the website. So of course I set an alarm and I did a little damage and I am holding a box that is huge. I've been waiting to put that down. Okay, so I am going to dig in and just randomly grab things. Everything is still wrapped up because I kind of wanted to do like a first reaction video too. If you haven't seen my other videos about what I'm doing this year, I'm doing like a very kind of cozy Halloween carnival vibe with a lot of oranges, creams, mauves. But when this line hit the app, I fell in love with one of the colors that they have running throughout a lot of their pieces. So now I have to incorporate that in. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I love this color. It'll look so good with the cream and the other colors that I'm doing. So you're gonna see a lot of a certain color in here and I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I had to get, I get these every year in different like colors or textures depending on what I'm doing. This is just one of the skulls from Hide and Eek and this one looks like rattan, which is my favorite material basically of all time for decor. It's not real, it's obviously just plastic because it's $5, but it looks so close to rattan that if it's sitting a ways away, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So I ended up getting three of them. I love everything about him and I cannot wait to put him somewhere. But again, since I have a lot of creams going on and like the orange and cream and mauve pompous grass looking stuff, I'm just so excited to have this. Okay, so the next item I think is what sparked this entire new color that I'm incorporating. I am such a sucker for velvet that when I saw these, I had to have them. I am so excited just to have these as a whole. I wish they had packaged these a little differently because they're all bent up, so now I have to straighten them. But this is the Retro Witch Hat, and it is in a green velvet. So this color... I don't know why it like stopped me in my tracks. Like if you look at these together, I love these colors together so much. And then with the other ones I have going on, the hat itself is really beautiful. Like I said, I'm gonna have to like sit these ones out and get some of the wrinkles out, but it has this little sequins ribbon going around it. And then this is a actual soft to the touch velvet material. So beautiful. I know I got two of those and I don't see it in the box right now. So I need to go back and check. It might be my second part. Target, I already said this, they shipped things the very next day and they were to me one day after that. It was two day shipping. So I placed a second order and that's what I'm waiting for. It's all going to arrive when I'm in Salem. So when I get home, I'll do a part two. Um, okay, I also grabbed two of these creepy cloths. I love them every year. I love the white for this year. I have tons of black ones that are in like my attic decor, but I think with the colors that I'm doing again, this would be better. And I actually might, you all know if you've been around, I'm not like a DIY girly, but I thought how cool would it be to dye these like one of the tones, either a mauve or that orange, that very particular kind of burnt orange I'm doing. I don't know. I can't imagine it would be too hard to do that with something like this. And they're only $5. So like if I mess it up, it's not the end of the world. But I thought for over the mantle, if you haven't seen my other video, that one Halloween haul, I'll link it down below. But I shared the kind of floral look that I'm doing with the ribbon over the mantles this year. And I thought this laid down first would add so much texture, so much depth to the mantle. And I don't know, maybe I'll like it white just to add some white into the space. Cause you all know I like that in my house, but I don't know if part of me was like, wouldn't this be so cool if it was dyed? Sorry, my bench. I will get a chair eventually guys. Um, Anyways, I thought, wouldn't this be cool if this was like one of the actual colors that I'm using? So we'll see, even that green, like that would be so pretty. Maybe I could do the green since I don't have the green in the like pompous grass stuff. Okay, next is this little skull. He is just so stinking cute. He was $5. He's one of those ones that's like heavy on the bottom. He's meant to sit, which I loved. I don't know why I was so drawn to him. I just thought he had the cutest little face. He's just like the perfect little size, you know? You can just pop him somewhere. I like having little hidden treasures around during the holidays. So I thought he would be so cute, like popped on the mantle, somewhere like that. He's like a really nice, heavy 
piece. So my kids are gonna love him too. Salem will think he's the cutest thing ever. Oh, speaking of little cuties, I am obsessed with this little witch. Her little partner in crime, the vampire who looks very similar to this, was sold out and I put a notify me on and he came back and stopped the very next day. So he is en route with the second round of things. So I'll share him in the other haul if you haven't seen him yet. But these pieces in that same green, I have just I'm dying over. Look at the details of this little cutie. It's $5. I love everything about this. Her little bat. I love her little striped green outfit. She has a moon belt, her little face and hair. Love the pointy hat. I just think she is absolutely precious. Her little velvet cape, the cutest thing in the wand. Oh my, I die. So she's going to sit somewhere. I thought her on one side and her little vampire brother, boyfriend. I don't know what I've thought of them like probably brother, he'll go on the other side. They're so adorable. All right, I got two pillows because once again, that color, I just needed them. And the first one that I got was this adorable bat pillow. Look how cute this is. Ugh. And all the pillows from Hide and Eat this year are reversible. So if you are more into the traditional colors and you want the black and orange, I know they had one that was ghost all over it in like the brightest orange and then I think it was like the stars on the other side. This is so beautiful to me. I love that it's reversible because this I could leave out all year. And if you do Halloween all year, obviously do you. This would be great to be left out too, but I love him hanging upside down like this. These, I think there's no tag on these. I wanna say all the pillows were $20, but I think the details are just stunning. Again, that freaking color that has just a straight chokehold on me right now. And these are really like nice. They're soft, they're cozy. I had a few of those really cool pillows from Home Goods last year that were like the skeletons with the party hats on. I'll be getting those back out because it goes with the carnival theme. So I thought he was like another cute little character for the couch. Also look at our little pumpkins. These are some of the ones that we've grown. They're all like about that size. Okay, I gotta get the scissors for this. I don't actually remember what it is. Okay, two things. One, I'm having an incredibly hard time holding this right now. I knew this was gonna happen. I was obsessed with the color of the skull. It goes perfectly with everything I'm doing this year and I loved it with the greens. I just think the tones are so cute together, but it is a true terracotta. <laughs> I'm literally having a hard time holding them right now. I don't like this material at all. It's just like a sensory thing for me. Ew. And I knew that was gonna happen, so I'm gonna make this part quick. But look at the details of him. I mean, he's absolutely stunning. The teeth, I die, I loved the big hollowed out holes. And then even the back, it's like painted. It had this little streakiness to it. I thought this was the coolest piece. So it's gonna go somewhere in the living room with all of the other skull decor. I really do like him. He was $10, that's why he was wrapped up like that though. He is a true, I actually can't tap on it for you. I was gonna tap so you could like hear the sound of it, but that would be the nails on the chalkboard part. So we're not gonna do that, but look how cute he is. I'm very happy I have him and I'm going to go wrap him up carefully and get him out of my hands now and then place him out at Halloween time and never touch him again. Okay, the last item is probably my favorite thing so far. This pillow oh, is so gorgeous. I am not a spider girl. I don't really decorate with them a lot. I have a few things. Um, but I do not mess with spiders in real life, but this is like such an elegant way to do a spider. This is a velvet pillow and then it's reversible like the other one, but it has the spider webs on it. So again, if you do Halloween or this kind of style all year, what a good everyday pillow to have because you could keep it on this side, but I am in love. This is like the only spider in the world that I like. I mean, look at the details of that. Really beautifully done. Hopefully it comes off on camera, the true color. It's looking a little washed out in the viewfinder to me. Um, it's a really beautiful green. It has like depth to it. I love the shade. It's the same shade as the other things though. So you get the idea, but look at him just like coming down. She, I feel like this would be a girl spider for some reason. And I just knew that these sitting on the couch together would be absolutely adorable. Look how cute that is. Oh my God, I die. I am really, really impressed with Hide and Eek so far this year. Last year, I think it was, they were getting a lot of crap and I agree, a lot of it was repeats and there are some of the same things on there, but nothing that I got this year have I ever seen before, which made me really happy. Even with the stuff that's coming for the part two and part three, everything's kind of like unique and different. And I've just personally 
been loving it. I know they have, I think it's three collections. They have that like forest haunted one. That's really cool. Lots of like mushroom skulls with mushrooms coming out of it and things like that. They have the neon collection, which is so fun if you're into that. I don't personally do that. Although I do it in my kid's bathroom sometimes. So I thought I might grab a piece or two to add to their bright Halloween bathroom. And then this was the other line, which is just so stunning to me. These are like classy, gorgeous pieces, but they're at Heidenique prices, which I thought was amazing. All right, loves, that's going to wrap up the first Target Halloween 2024 haul. I cannot wait. When I get home from Salem, I'll have the rest waiting for me and I will film the part two and part three. Really, really fun, awesome things coming up. I have an animatronic type moving thing in my package that's being shipped to me now so many other things to share with you all. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite item from this haul was, what your thoughts are on the hide and eat collections as a whole this year. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye loves.